2023 elections are be wiser now. Nigerians have a dysfunctional relationship with their political leaders. <laughs> election seasons are the only periods we get to hear from them or they get to listen to us. We have another season upon us. On Monday, ex-governor Bola Ahmed Tinumbu declared his intention to run for presidency in the upcoming 2020 elections. Anyway, it's no news to many as we've been bombarded with posters and covert campaigns throughout last year. Ex-President Goodluck Jonathan may also indicate interest to run, as we've seen also in the media. These are two of the many candidates that would reveal their intentions to, in the coming weeks to run for any form of political position. In the next month, we expect to see many campaign promises that give us or tell us that they're going to give us heaven on earth. Some would say they would change the economy in 12 months. Others would come up with first 100-day plans, which eventually we know will be forgotten once they get in. Some would show up with rice and beans and all manner of foodstuffs and money to lure unsuspecting, unthinking, and already victimized citizens. Gradually, partisan camps will begin to be formed, even in our neighborhoods and even families. The media will be bombarded with every form of articles and, pro and programs promoting a candidate or otherwise. Eventually, we'll get a leader who may be a repeat of our past mistakes. Before we get there, let's take a step back in time and learn. Let's ask ourselves real and difficult questions, such as, why do we keep getting the same crop of leaders? What can we do differently? What political office matters most? Is it the senatorial office? the presidential office, gubernatorial, governor's office, or even the local government offices. What do we want from the next leaders? And so on. There are so many more questions to ask. Let's have these conversations in our homes. Let's have them in our neighborhoods, in our estates, communities, churches, mocks, offices, and every gathering you can think of, even at parties. We can't, think, we can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Let's ask ourselves the right questions. Afterwards, we can then ask the politicians the right questions. But let's not stop at questioning. Let the responses we get from these questions inform our selection of leaders in the upcoming elections for every political office. Remember that we have only this time to get it right. Let's not waste it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was reading that, one thing came to mind that you know, a lot of times we don't apply the same structure or methodology that we apply to our life to politics. Mm. Um, we tend to give a lot of excuses in politics. Now, what, what do I mean? If a woman comes to you, a young lady comes to you and tells you that she's dated five guys who's promised their marriage, they've bought her a lot of the rings or they've made her a lot of the rings and she's kept the ring for two, three years and each time after two or three years, after a while, these guys break our hearts. What would you tell the lady? Something's wrong with you. Exactly. So we bring about the same kind of leaders every year, and we blame the leaders. Exactly. Not ourselves. What are we doing, or what are we not doing, that is making this kind of ideology fester? Those are questions, and I'm talking about the questions you've asked us to ask. Those are mm. questions we are not asking. We see people, I've heard people say, you see, we can't make it because the leaders are not giving us, make it, they're making it difficult for us. And I say, I agree. You see, it's a foolish person, I'm sorry to say, that will tell you everything is okay in Nigeria. No. So when you're saying, let's make a move, not that, oh, everything is easy. No. What I'm saying is, a lot of times when someone tells you, okay, she's a thought leader in addition to being a lawyer. Now you hear motivational leaders say that. The fact that your back you you were you were born on the ground or as that thing said doesn't mean you're <laughs> back, keep your back on the ground background you see, and all yeah, yeah, you see, because you're your back, back is on ground. the ground and you don't have a background you don't have a good background and all those kind of things the fact that your father didn't send you to school doesn't mean you cannot make it yeah. look at other people that are making it listen the fact that our leaders are not giving us what we want they're not encouraging us to fight does not mean we should not fight mm. and i tell people that listen all this i don't i'm sorry i don't join people to blame Balatinumbu. I don't. Not because he's a perfect man, no. But you see, someone like him, I believe, should be studied in the university. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. This is a man that fought mm. during the Nadeko era, came in 1999, and mm he's -hmm. been able to hold on to power till oh, date relevant. in a state like Lagos State, mm -hmm. where you have so many mad people. It's crazy. What mm -hmm. does he do right? Mm -hmm. So when people are saying, is one holding, oh, no, 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 there's no legal. I was asking someone recently that which state in Nigeria has reached its full potential? Mm -hmm. No states. Yeah. Whether it's one man leading or mm -hmm. multiple men leading, they're all failing. So what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm coming back to you, I'm saying that at the end of it all, it is time for us to ask the right questions mm -hmm. and not give excuses of they will not allow us. These people mm -hmm. were not, there are people today, someone was talking about it, you as in fighting Tinubu. There are people today that till date, they would not be friends with him because he fought and so many other people like that have fought. What are we doing in this generation? Mate, wow. I want him to answer that. I can see him looking I want him to answer that. <laughs> I was looking at him. Like, too. I mean, <laughs> is that what we do now? <laughs> That's what we're doing now. We roll down. Well, really, you know, I saw a tweet. Someone said that if Tinubu is going to come out, mm. if he selects a Muslim, he's going to not be able to deliver on the side of the Christians, and it's going to get him angry. Okay. If he selects a Christian, uh, a Christian he's going to um, the Northerns are going to be angry. He's not going to deliver on that end. Mm. So someone said, "How do we reduce the polity Honestly. to selecting?" You don't see Obama oh and God. you know. Joey, but they don't talk about that, yeah. you know. So, so look at what we're looking at. So that tells you that the polity has been reduced to rubbish. Someone is saying, if I select a Muslim, or but, but, but the truth is, let's not be fooled. We, you don't you don't win politics by motivation. I mean, I'm, this is not me throwing. I mean, I'm just yeah, yeah, it's, okay. it's strategy, yeah, right? Yeah, it's strategy. After motivation, you get up you get and you up have work. strategy of execution, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And just to come back to Annie's um, comment, what I said earlier. I mean, why are they giving them bags of rice, bags of beans, mm -hmm. all of those things? It's mm -hmm. always worked. Mm -hmm. If a strategy works, it will be, well, I mean, in business, you can't change what yeah. works. Don't change if a bag of beans works mm -hmm. every year, I can't change it. If 1,000 naira works every yeah. year, yeah. and guess what? The guys that are receiving the bags of beans, they deliver the numbers. Yeah, we don't deliver the numbers. That's That's it. It. So we are tweeting. <laughs> so we are the That's ones. The so I can't, I can't get a bag of beans because I don't need it. But mm -hmm. the guys that need it, they are multiple mm. and, and and that's where the problem really is so if they keep using the strategy and it's working for many years they're going to start you know frying corn yeah. now and all <laughs> the things themselves and do you know what's happening it's worked mm -hmm. do you know what has so happened with, that, yeah, with that strategy mm -hmm. like i in recent times without even linking it to elections but just looking at because i've been really curious about how are we actually building the capacity of ourselves as a people mm. and you see that bag of rice strategy is very interesting to observe Let's go back to colonial days and we realize that for the same, the same system of giving a handout or something Mirror to feed the belly, you get people and, out. Mm. And now look at it very well. So people say that bag of rice and bag of beans and that, oh, they're giving you, what do they get out of it? And then we, the people who keep tweeting or who feel we went to school, mm. are actually not seeing what is being seen. Have you realized that from that system, from that lower crop of the bag of rice givers, they're building leaders? Well, at the local government level, they're into, in, have you gone to Lagos State Civil Service? Mm. Have you seen the people that are being empowered? <laughs> have you gone into space and see mm -hmm. how they're have you go around outside forget the I go true, to Mowe, go to Abuli Egba, go to Agege, mm. look at houses, look at the people. Wealth is being created in unprecedented numbers. That bag of rice is not a strategy, it's a strategy that's working because when those people deliver those things, they know that they are short of something. And by the time you need there was a saying that says when you need something from the leader, go to be friends with those in the kitchen. And when we're sitting down here feeling not very fancy, which is why, as motivational as it seemed that my initial advocacy was, the first line that was change your mindset. We're going to have to, and you mentioned strategy. I like the fact that Victor put it there. You see, you cannot take yourself out of a situation mm. without actually thinking, That's what is the root change. of this? Yeah. In, in, a lot of, and mental work actually breaks you down. Sure. You, if you do proper mental work, you break down to the point where you see your life and say, emotional intelligence, <laughs> the first line of self-awareness. For a whole psychology, Dr. Goldman said, said the first thing in getting any change is to start to use EI to change life mm. and nations. And so, as Victor then said, honestly, that strategy works. But beyond that, there was something that um, Ruth, Ruth said, and I found it interesting. I said, oh, that, you know, a lot of people, their high school dropouts are cool. But I remember there was a time in my studying that I realized that informal native intelligence is sometimes even more crucial mm. than formal education so we have formally educated people who cannot think 
a lot of the formerly educated people did they, they yes, carry so it in, crown, drop it. Crown, They're not even thinking four. people, critical mm -hmm. thinking skills. So those people that finish with high school alone are probably sometimes more intelligent than those true. of us with first degree, masters, a certification, diploma, everything together. So maybe the system is for us that are thinking we know uh -huh. to go and study those people like yeah, like Kayo. They say very much. Any that means something is wrong. Is wrong with all of us. We can never end this conversation honestly, around because. politics, changing our mindsets, and being able to at least honestly. prepare ourselves for the mm. upcoming elections. But I, like I said at the beginning of my presentation, it's important that we ask ourselves the right questions. Yeah. Yes. Once we do so, then we'll be able to at least make better change into the next mm. year. So up next Hopefully. is Victor. Stay tuned. Yeah.